Hi, I'm Vitaly Kutoriansky and I'm Professor of Formulation Science at Reading School of Pharmacy, University of Reading. In this video abstract, we would like to tell you about our work recently published in European Journal of Pharmaceutics and Biopharmaceutics. This is a third in a series of our publications demonstrating the use of malimide functionalized nanomaterials for transmucosal drug delivery. Previously, we demonstrated that nanomaterials functionalized with malimide groups exhibit enhanced mucoadhesive properties because of formation of covalent bonds with mucins. In this work, we have designed nanoparticles from the dye-blocker polymers of PLGA and PEG, whose surface was decorated with malimide groups. These nanoparticles were used as mucoadhesive carriers for drug delivery to the urinary bladder. Delivery of therapeutic agents to the urinary bladder, that is called intravesical drug delivery, is quite a challenging area of pharmaceutics because of continuous production of urine and related washout effects. Here, we demonstrated that nanoparticles with enhanced mucoadhesive properties could be used to improve retention to the bladder and could facilitate therapy of some conditions, such as bladder cancer. In this work, we have used four commercially available derivatives of diablock copolymers having a fixed molecular weight of PLGA and two different lengths of PEG. Two of these samples also had molymide terminal groups. These combinations allowed us to compare the nanoparticles with and without molymide groups on their surface. We have prepared these nanoparticles using nanoprecipitation technique by dissolving dipole copolymers either in diamosol or acetone and then slowly mixing these solutions with deionized water and subsequently dialyzing them against TI water. In order to study the structure of these nanoparticles, we have used a combination of dynamic light scattering, transmission electron microscopy and small angle neutron scattering. At this stage we were interested in what sense the nanoparticles prepared from acetone were different from the ones prepared from dimethyl sulfoxide. The second point of interest was the influence of melamide groups on nanoparticle structure. We have established that the choice of solvent used for precipitation has the greatest impact on nanoparticle structure. Interestingly, nanoparticles dissolved and precipitated from acetone have not only a smaller core, but also shorter chains in a shell compared to the nanoparticles prepared from dimethyl sulfoxide. Small angle neutron scattering gave us an evidence that bulky melamide groups attached to the dangling pack chains increase the pack shell for the nanoparticles precipitated from dimethyl sulfoxide. For nanoparticles precipitated from acetone, we see that some of melamide groups, due to their hydrophobic nature, have a tendency to incorporate into PLJ pack interface resulting in a narrow polymeric shell. Every chemical modification of pharmaceutical polymers to improve drug delivery requires thorough characterization of their safety and biocompatibility. There's very limited information on the biocompatibility of materials containing malamide groups in the literature. Therefore, we have undertaken a study of mucosal irritancy using slug mucosal irritation test. Terrestrial slugs typically release mucus to aid locomotion and also when in contact with irritating substances. This feature could be used to evaluate biocompatibility of materials. The researchers from the University of Ghent in Belgium have previously developed and validated a toxicological assay based on this ability of slugs to release mucus in response to irritation. We have used two model compounds containing malamide groups. One of these is malamide terminated PEG and another one is 6 malamide hexanoid acid. By measuring mucus production by the slugs exposed to these chemicals as well as to control substances, we have established that PEG with malamide terminal groups doesn't cause any mucosal irritation at the study concentration range. 6 malamide hexanoid acid, however, did cause irritation at the concentration of 0.03 millimoles. We established that this irritation effect is related to the acidic nature of this chemical rather than the presence of malamide groups. 
As a result of their studies, using slug mucosa irritation test, we have established that nanoparticles with malamide groups on their surface shouldn't cause any irritation effect on mucosal surfaces. In order to evaluate the retention of nanoparticles on mucosal surfaces, we have freshly excised sheep blood tissues obtained from the local abattoir. The nanoparticles were loaded with a fluorescent dye placed on the blood mucosa and washed with fixed portions of simulated urine. The result of each wash was controlled using fluorescent microscopy and the data were quantified with image analysis. Our findings indicated that nanoparticles with malamide groups exhibit greater attention on mucosal surfaces compared to those without these groups. In this work, we have designed new mucoadhesive nanocarriers and demonstrated the potential of malamide groups to enhance retention on mucosal surfaces. We also have shown the non-irritant nature of these functional groups. We believe that malamide functionalized nanomaterials designed in this work could be considered as a platform technology suitable for transmucosal drug delivery where there is a strong need to improve retention on mucosal surfaces. This could include applications in the drug delivery to the eye, nasal and oral cavities, gastrointestinal and uh, reproductive.